Hey, uh, I'm Heli Sick and I'm a PhD candidate um, at the College of Widow and Mary. And I came here to, to research uh, for my dissertation, which focuses on anti-LGBTQ violence um, uh, and hate crimes, but also looking at the culture in general uh, and um, more of the systematic kind of violence as well and how how it gets portrayed in media. Uh, this is kind of the dissertation and dissertation elevator speech. Um, but yeah, one of the things that I uh, looked into while being here um, at the Human Sexuality Collection uh, was the Advocate. So Advocate uh, is the oldest um, LGBT um, publication that is still published and that's started um, uh, being published uh, before the Stonewall uh, arise in 1969, and this is from 1967. Um, so looking through the um, advocate, and what what uh, struck me the most, because first I got a box of the most recent ones, and it's it's very classy and it's very shiny and it's very very nice. It's so classy that it's hard to see in the, with the fluorescent lighting. Right. And then the next box um, I got was from um, 1970, I think it's 72. Yes, 1972. So this is from a time when homosexuality was still a uh, mental illness. Um, two years later, everybody was cured, but 1972, every, everyone was still sick. So what struck me most um, by looking at those um, um, those different issues from different years was um, how basically how racy the advocate used to be and how bold and how it would mix um, very erotic images with really serious politics as well and art. You have like artist portfolios inside and for instance discover here you have two men embracing each other and um, one of them appears to have an erection um, even and but on the cover here it's Lindsay on gays so like you would get the magazine like this if you wanted to read it then you would open it up and you, that's when you can read about Lindsay and how uh, the mayor of New York states that uh, sexual orientation should not um, so be something that uh, you can't be discriminated against uh, if you're being employed uh, in uh, New York City. So, and you get to politics here. Um, in the back, however, you have another pretty, um, pretty interesting image um, of two men um, embracing or uh, touching each other. Just the, it's not the completely pornographic, but if you compare this to to advocate from and this is from 2008, you have uh, Kim Cattell on it. Um, and, you know, it's still, it's still the same advocate. Um, and it deals with some issues when it regards to politics. But, you know, this is, you know, this is post, this is post the AIDS crisis. This is post, uh, which saying post ace crisis, there's still a crisis, but like this is some, but it's not on media anymore. Uh, but you, you know, it, we talk about Angela Jolie and Harrison Ford and Heath Ledger and, and issues, issues like that. Um, so one thing I guess with the shift from 72 to 2008 is um, kind of to see how also this kind of news culture gets established, how certain kinds of, um, uh, columns and um, features that are part of the new, uh, this uh, journal get established. So that's one of those things, how it gets more um, standardized, packaged more neatly. Um, and I guess another thing is this very basic, um, I guess, Foucauldian, um, um, you know, throwing on Foucault, how sexuality, we believe that we're getting freer, freer and freer and freer. and um, Whereas even this very simple example from, you know, I guess it is how many years apart, 36 years apart, shows that uh, things used to be a lot more messier and a lot more um, interesting, I think. Um, so yeah, 
So this is this is this brief, um, just a snippet of the advocate, but I'm sure there are plenty of other examples. Thank you.